Uh, hello, y'all. How y'all are tonight? Uh, I just got bored, so I thought I'd throw this video up. Uh, you know, I'm not a big knife collector, gun collector, or uh, I'm not really in heavy to bushcraft and stuff like that. I do like to camp and stuff like that. But uh, I've been going through some channels, you know, and watching uh, what interests other people. And I kind of find myself getting uh, kind of interested in knives. I'm kind of like uh, Michelle just playing. She says she can't afford guns, so she collects knives. It's kind of the way I'm going to be doing it. Uh, I don't have a big knife collection. Uh, in my in my fishing box, I carry this in here. It's just an old cheap ass knock around knife. It's made in Japan. But, uh, you know, it, it does what I need it to. It, uh, I can put on wood and not be scared I'm going to hurt it or, or, uh, sometimes when I'm out metal detecting, I, I forget my digger, I'll grab this thing. Okay. Then I subscribe to, uh, I don't know, some kind of hunting and fishing deal. And uh, it's a hunting club. And they sent me this. This is the, the bigger of the two knives. It's not really, you know, I guess, I guess you could baton with it if you want to, but it's a cheap-ass knife. It's uh, made in China, stainless steel. thing about it is, though, they give you this sheath, but, you know, it'll come right out with it clipped in, so, you know, it ain't worth crap. And it's a two-knife deal. They give you that one and this little one with serrated edges on it. It's the same kind of deal, you know. It fits on top and it snaps in there, but pfft, that's, that ain't worth a crap because you can pull both knives out. But that's what they look like, you know. So, that, I just got my If Shit Hits Fan bag. Then my everyday carries, I got two. I got this little Gerber. It's just my, you know, opening boxes, cutting rope, uh, just whatever needs uh, you need a knife for. Then I got this one. It's called a King Cutter, K E E N Cutter. You can tell by the blades there. Uh, it's, it's not an antique knob, but it's whoever owned it before me was a whittler, and that's why I bought it because I like to whittle a little bit. Now, this little, damn, this little knob right here for the uh, intricate work, and this knife is fairly sharp, you know. I've already cut myself on it a couple times. But uh, them is about the only knives I have. Uh, I was looking online today, and uh, you know me, I'm a cheapskate. So I'm going to have to get by as cheap as I can. But... Uh, they have 
they have this one uh, knife that I really fell in love with. It's a, a, a Mora. A Morris Forest Exclusive 277. I wish I had a picture of it, but I tried my best to download a picture and save it. And I don't know, it's a stupid computer. It's it's been giving me fits here lately. And I can't I can't get a a picture of it, but they make two. They make a in this exclusive uh they make the 277, which is a real, it's kind of a thin knife with a thin blade, and it's only got a four-inch blade on it. And the thing I like about that, it's got the brass cap on it. And right on the end of the, the knife, it's got like a little ball. And the knife goes down in the sheath, and then this flap comes over and clips into that little ball at the end of the knife. That's, that's why I kind of like that one. But then they have the 311 model. It's a little beefier knife. Uh, you know, it's a typical round handle Mora. And uh, it's, it's a nice looking knife too. It's got the brass caps on it. So I plan on... Uh, getting one of the two, and, and I'm kind of leaning toward that 277 because uh, I don't really like carrying the knife on my side. Uh, the simple fact, especially especially these these cheap ass things like that, you know, these things don't don't stay in the damn uh, thing; they won't hold it in. So you could lose this anywhere, and you'd never know it. So, uh, I like that 277 because it's a smaller knife, and I'll be able to wear it around my neck. Uh, I never really thought about uh, wearing around my neck before until I got, uh, I got to watch these YouTube channels, and, and there's a lot of people that, that are doing it. And it makes a lot of sense because, like I say, you carry one on your side, they could fall out of your sheath and you'd never know it. And you just had a knife to where if it's around your neck and you can make your cord, put slip knots on both sides to where you can stretch it out, sling it around your neck, you know, crossways like this. And it'll be out of your way in case you want to be doing some bow drilling or, or you know, you're, uh, if you're into archery, you know, you're into archery, you don't have that knife sitting there because it's going to be in your way. But, uh, yeah, uh, I do believe, I do believe I'm going to be getting me this 277. And uh, <clears throat> when I do, I'll have an unboxing and show everybody the knife. Uh, more is a, is a, is a well-made knife. They're good steel, and uh, I'm not real destructive with my uh, knives and stuff anyway. So, if I wanted to go out there and baton wood and stuff like that, I've got a hatchet, a, an old Boy Scout hatchet that I I would use for that. So, uh, uh, when I get this more knife. It'll, it'll probably be within next month or so. I'll make another video and, and make an unboxing of it. So, uh, okay, well, this is just... Just thought I'd uh, let y'all know what I was up to. So y'all have a good evening. And stay safe. Uh, pray for our soldiers in the military. Uh, God bless. Love y'all. Catch you later.